with the ho ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Who has stealing the stolen stolen the grammar apparently. I have stolen the gram <laughs> I can't speak at all. I have stolen the heart from Tom of Lover himself. And now as I run away from these Goombas completely missing the doorway, I will chase this heart until it is mine! Again, even though I said I'd already stolen it. Yep, just can't commentate this one. Why am I even trying? Through the tunnel and let me get out of here already. Back to the real windmill. Up he goes, boing! Look at the lighting on Lady Bo there. And the gears. I've been inside a windmill. The gears are more level than that. Oh, he's just right here. It's time to reunite. <laughs> oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there is no way to beat me. And we're going straight into the real boss. So yes, I didn't need to use the snowman at all. And I haven't been to find out Tubba Blubber's secret in the, the bedroom. Well, unless that heart counts as a secret, but the heart's inside him. So what am I going to do now? Put him to sleep, I guess. That's one way to try things. And do it with Mario, because then Lady, Lady Penelope can attack with more power if my attacks actually work. Well, he's fallen asleep for three turns, so let's see if it actually works. No, you're completely missing the target. Oh, it does hurt him. Okay. Oh, gosh. That sends him into a right state. Right. So I'm guessing he's invulnerable while he's awake, but I'll test it when he wakes up. And then never try it again, because it'll probably fail. Feel as if it'd do even more damage if you actually tried to hit him in the chest. But again, you are hitting him in the eye. Eow! Eow! What? Okay. Never mind any of what I just said. That's it. Oh no! With my heart and body united, I'm not invincible anymore. Now I'm back to be not invincible top of lover. That's so lame! I give up! Look, I'll give you back all of the ghosts I ate! Forgive me! How is that even possible? You've already... <laughs> oh, he really is releasing all the booze. They're alive. That one was Stanley, wasn't it? I think so. I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you. It's just like Jack Wallside. And off he goes to the toilet. <laughs> Served you right, and everyone who has gotten eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I'd better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubber anymore. We used to love scaring Tubba Blubber night and day because he was such a coward. Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him! <laughs> Besides, that was a pretty invigorating experience. I've never felt so full of excitement before. And, ahem, it was also a good learning experience. I think I'd better experience some more of the outside world. So, I think I'll accompany you a little longer. Yes, we permanently have the British secret agent. That is, Lady No. You don't have to be polite. I w you won't have to worry about anything anymore as long as I'm with you. Queen! <laughs> Here you go, Mario. I'm giving you back the Star Spirit, as I promised. You've had it here the whole time? Parker, snap to it. Come over here. Oh, I was actually going to go back to you in the mansion and see what was going on. Here, Mario. He's free now. And an orb of light flies into the sky. <laughs> oh, we're getting the, the kind of German-looking one. That's how I describe it, the German-looking one. Absolute clankhaft! 
Let's give you a little convo first, though, while we can't see you. No, oh, come on, Parker. Parker! Okay, I can't actually speak to him like that. Here we go, we're gonna release Ansgar. I don't know what he's actually called, so I'm gonna call him Ansgar, because it's my favourite German name. Can't remember my original voice now, but obviously it's gonna be a German one. End of chapter! Great, I'm actually making progress. After solving the secret of Invincible Turbo Blubber, it was really easy, by the way, Mario and party set free Star Spirit Scholar. Now, with Tubba Blubber just a bad dream, the boos are free to hunt, haunt to their heart's content. By the way, guys, let me know if you did actually need to put Tubba Blubber to sleep or not. I'd like to know. Even the lonely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With the newest party member, Lady Poe, in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on their next challenge. Did like three different voices in one. Yes, save and continue, please. And here we go, back here again. I see a running trend here. We'll go on. I wonder how Mario is doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that tub of mother? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? If Mario managed to beat Tubble Blubber by now, Bowser and his followers will be really, really bad, don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. And here we go, we're playing as Peach again. So much hype. Out the window go all my theories. Nope, there's still nothing out there. Oh, I guess I'll just use the top secret. Oh, I can actually invent a soft and comfortable bed. You can even see how much she likes that bed, but she's so keen to get away from it. And you'd think by now they would have changed the way to get through the fireplace, but nope. We will carry on anyway, and this time we might actually get to read Bowser's diary. I was a bit sad that we didn't get to last time. Through another fireplace. And we'll see where we end up. It can't be! No, no, no! It's come back and... Your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you, Top of Level was... defeated by Mario! Well, that's what you say! You've got the Hermes Invincible! How could you beat the Hermes Invincible? Stop, 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 stop. Stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret and made Tubba Blubber not quite so invincible. And then you beat him. <sighs> I despise Mario. Who are they? Your filthiness. You have to come up with another tactic, and quickly. Mario will most likely go to Shiger. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, I can't wait to go there. Yeah, so he's a propel something there. Browser rifle. I won't be satisfied to stop and beat him up anymore. What we need to do is annihilate him. Happy <laughs> Koopa, you can find out what Mario hates. And. Uh, don't look my way, please. Please don't look over there. Now you've got to see the problem with the mechanism. Wait, hang on. It's actually a good time we might be serious and has. As I'm discussing the weak points of our mutual friend. <laughs> mutual friend. So, let's speak. I don't know how to speak this is there. And listen, you must be honest. What of those things does Mario hate the most? Oh, he hates partying. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, he likes Inazuma 11, so it won't be Thunder. And yeah, Fuzzies were getting on his nerves earlier on, and he wants Matt Hammer Brothers to be playable in Mario Kart again. So yeah, Fuzzy. Oh, 
I guess I'm choosing my enemies for the next area, aren't I? Oh, well, I could do with a drink right now, so Super Soda. You know, I'll just have a drink of my monster right now. And that's the sound of me putting it on the radiator. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. <laughs> Be sure to buy your health of these things that he hates. They'll be in for sure. Did you get all that character back? Going immediately. I'm not sure we can entirely trust what the princess tells us about Mario's weak points, but I'll do as you say. Of course you will. My tactics are brilliant. There is absolutely sneezing. A chew. So, Cabby Cooper, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we will witness the end of Mario. Hot boss! <laughs> Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach back to her room at once! Yes, ma'am. And back we go again, and Twink follows on as usual, almost about to bash into the wall. You know, Bowser and Peach both have clouds on their wallpaper. That's another thing they have in common. And here, here he is. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. I don't know how to do it. I just realised I don't have any idea how to do a German accent. Now that I'm free, I can help you! Ha! We got some kind of power. Okay, we got st three star energies and now we can use Star Storm! Fireball Storm! Excuse me. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies! Okay, I've been wanting one of those attacks actually. Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely it's the Star Lord that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing or not all. I don't know. But there's no question that he's making him stronger than before. We will have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Ah, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go to Star Haven. The other Star Spirits are waiting for me there. Oh, and if you could, please keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Danke schön. Goodbye. And off he goes. TTFN, that's what I've said two episodes straight now. So, we're going to head to Shy Guy's Toy Box. That sounds like fun, but first, I just want to have a little wander around this area. I heard from one of the boos eaten by Tubba Blubber that his belly was literally packed full of ghosts for a while. He never felt full, though. Of course not. We're ghosts. Mind you, if his body was just a shell with no heart in it, then does he even have the digestive acids to eat a boo? That naughty boo, the tub of blubber ate, came back. He was always a troublemaker, but it was weird with him gone. But now everything's to back to normal again. Thanks for saving him. Ah, sure thing, but no problem. Oh, Mario, how's Lady Bo doing? Yeah, they don't need to sound all the same. Excuse me, Mario. Haha, <laughs> did I surprise you? <laughs> he surprised the other boo more than me. What technique! What perfect delivery! There's always something new I can learn from that guy. What a boo master! I've got to work on my scaring skills too! Yeah, if you're tired of this voice, you should probably just stop the video right now, because there's a whole other screen of them, and I'm healing when I have full health anyway. Great idea! Well, Victoria, she's back safely, that's good to know. Boos are saying that Tubba Blubber took off. Ooh, this area will once again be a ghost parade! Oh, paradise. Not only that, Tubba Blubber returned all the ghosts he's eaten, including Stanley Knife, who stabbed him in the heart. Ah, I'm really happy with all of the ghosts are back, but with so many of us around, people might not get used to us and might not get scared anymore. That would be a tragedy, huh? We better find a quiet place with fewer ghosts so we're not so conspicuous. 
And that one. Very at the end of the line is, I think, the last one we'll talk to before ending the video. It still seems so quiet. It's almost like a ghost town or something. I can't clap when I'm holding a controller. Chilling and desolate. <laughs> See you in the next episode. <laughs> ah!